Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 365 Pro Wrestling Podcast. I am Eddie Osborne. It is 7 p.m. on January 27th, 2020, and I'm sitting in the car with my opponent from just two days ago, Warhead. How you doing, man? Good. Opponent, friend of me, brother, you know. We just had a good uh, a good dinner. We were at the Whale and Ale. A good time. Had some drinks with uh, Corey Spade. And now I said, hey, man. I need a podcast for tonight. And he said, I thought you got all kinds of stocked up. I said, no. No, no I didn't. You're a procrastinator. A little bit. A little bit. So we're going to get this one to you today. And I wanted to talk to you first about some of your injuries. Well, not just the little ones. Some of the bigger ones. Right now you got the, the spine that's deteriorating. I got, the, I got the spine that's deteriorating. That one sucks. Yeah, the tendonitis. Tendonitis that I got from a match in Guelph. I got my chest my pectoral muscle drop kicked back behind my shoulder muscle and it pinched and that was still dealing with that one and that's been two years and then you grew a third ball well now that a third <laughs> ball uh out of nowhere i i felt some pain below my nuts and i'm like i don't know what this is is this testicle torsion have you ever had that I have not played that game. That's when your ball twists, and it's not Oh, fun. oh, mama. So I'm going through all this weird pain. I had to go see my doctor. Do you have two nuts? I still have two nuts, yes. Once upon a time, my mother knocks on the door, me and my brother playing video games, and she's like, do you guys have two testicles? And we're like, what? We're like eight, nine. We're like, uh, Yeah. And she's like, oh, one of your cousins only has one. The other one's still inside trying to drop. Just want to make sure you guys are good. <laughs> I'm like, what What the hell, man? Uh, this is a funny time. But, but your third testicle. My third testicle was actually a hernia yeah. in my like in my taint. Oh, um, oh. So as I drove around in my car, it felt like I was sitting on a balloon with like one gasp of air, like a, <gasps> in a balloon. It just felt so weird and this is going back to when I was fit, like doing the tests to go into college uh, I had to write that test sitting on the edge of the fucking chair because like I had the big hernia hanging right below my balls and I had to sit with my legs wide so finally I whatever this is, I write the test for college I'm hoping I get in which spoiler alert I did get in and I graduated but um my doctor I'm like I need to find out what's going on can I get an ultrasound she's like yeah of course of course cool Ultrasound's booked. Hot chick leads me in the room, gets me to, you know, just, you know, wear this robe, take everything off, just wear the robe by itself. Did you have a boner? Dude, I'm fucking laying there. I got nothing against gay people, but a gay dude came in with, you know, the soft-spoken voice, and I'm like, oh, of course, of course this happens to me. And he's like... Could you please lift your penis up and put it underneath the towel? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to be putting the ultrasound underneath your ball. Oh no, I'm going to be spraying the cold gel, the jelly on your testicles now. It might be a little cold. I'm like, oh. just get it over with. <laughs> and he's like, go using the ultrasound wand thing under there and shit. And like, and when he left, when he left the the office and told me to clean up, I took out my phone. I took a picture of. That, like, little x-ray ultrasound thing that says, Chad Gowing, the (laughs) testicle. I'm like, my balls are fucked up. (laughs) But, yeah, just my luck that, uh, of course, it's going to be I think it's better a gay dude, no? No. You want a hot nurse? She was cute. She wore glasses. So you don't want to, like, be like, you don't want to poke her in the eye. You don't want to not show up. She might give me a fucking uh, ultrasound jelly handy. She might smack it and say, down, boy. (laughs) Whatever. So, uh, the hernia hurt, or is it just uncomfortable? It was awful. It was uncomfortable. Uh, It made wrestling hurt. Like, I used to go to training, and, like, doing rolls hurt. So, I'm wrestling for Demand Lucha. We've got Joey Ryan in. It's my first time facing him. I'm all excited, but my balls are killing me. Before the match, I'm complaining about how my... I'm like, this is some sick joke because I go around (laughs) punching people in the dick that I'm being punished by having this, like, hernia in my taint. And you're wrestling the dick guy. (laughs) I'm wrestling the guy that flips me with his dick. It was just... It was too coincidental that the stars aligned for this to happen. 
boom, 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 we wrestle, super kick, uh, get up, grab, like, he makes me grab his dick, flips me. Consensual nowadays. Consensual. Flips me with his dick, and I get downstairs, I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm like, uh oh. I knocked it back into place. I knocked the hernia back inside. I don't have to go for the surgery to get the mesh put in there because Joey Ryan saved my life <laughs> with his penis. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. That, oh. And it hasn't come out since. No, good, I haven't had any pain down there. No, no testicular <laughs> torsion. Like, literally, the weirdest fucking things always happen to me. Did you get it checked out again to make sure you're good, or you back to my, Went back to my doctor. She's like, how's it feeling? I'm like, there's nothing wrong. I feel great. Do you like, like, feel around down there to make sure it's good? Always. Oh, dude, I'm sitting right now beside you, and there's nothing. There's no pain. Wow. That is amazing. So Joey Ryan Joey saved your life with his dick flip. Yep. Man, you thank him afterwards? You didn't know then. I didn't know then. Next time I see him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to tell him the story, and he's uh, going to be like, that is really weird. Who are you? Man. <laughs> so that's crazy, man. Like, uh, any yeah. other? I mean, since we're on balls and dicks, any other dick stories you want to tell? <laughs> of course, you want to know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, now I'm in the mood. I've had a few drinks in me. <laughs> no, <laughs> not even a chance. Okay. But I'm just saying, if we're talking about this, we're getting this episode out yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. We're this, talking this, about all this, this craziness. This is a dick episode. Yeah, warhead dick episode. Warhead <laughs> big and dick friends. episode. <laughs> Uh, all right. The one thing I but the 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 doctor didn't think so, right? What the the nurse? He was like, eh. That dude, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I had to hide my cock and just have my balls laid out there, like for him to just like. He didn't. He was very very uh, polite about it. He didn't even fucking touch my balls. Oh no. He used the wand to move them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or he asked me to just pull them off. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And do you do you get hurry through wrestling, or you just got it one day? Like I think I got it from my last job lifting something heavy. Yeah, yeah. And it just like I thought up. maybe you were lifting like Brandon Jacobs because he's sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Brandon. There's a lot of dead weight out there, but I don't know. <laughs> no. No, no. I think it's just from a job. I just lifted something heavy and like didn't realize it was happening until it just started getting more and more swollen. Wow. Well, that's nice that it's gone now, and oh, everything's yeah. good. And fuck yeah, that was it affected my sex life. I I would think so. Yeah, I would I would I believe so. Yeah, everything down there it feels bruised, like it sucks. <laughs> but since this is the dick episode, in my 18 year so far wrestling career, I have accidentally, not even whatever. Been a pecker checker because these fucking whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa, pecker checker is not a good word. No. No, you should just. Yeah, I've seen some dings by accident. I've seen some dings by accident because back at Unit 13 Hamilton, who knows which company it was because yeah. it was like fucking 80 there. Yeah. Jimmy Jacobs. I come outside to have a smoke back when I was a smoker. He's pissing on the wall and he's like, oh, so he turns his back to me. I'm like, all right, cool, thanks. I'm just smoking, smoking. I see a car coming up. The fucking around the corner, I'm like, that car's coming straight towards us. Jimmy Jacobs turns around, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, just saw the zombie princess's fucking wiener. Ah, man. That was John my... Rambo, he was a guy in uh, NWL in like uh, West Virginia, I think we were maybe like Pennsylvania or something like that, and he paid me with his no pants on. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm like, huh, this, this is interesting. So. Uh, were you I the... saw the the beefcake too. He's oh, just that, sitting there naked. Beefcake? Yeah, he's just sitting there. I'm like, oh, hey, buddy. But yeah, I didn't mean to look. He was just there. Have you? Well, have you seen? Uh, or were you on the Busted Knuckles show with Shane Douglas? Uh, I don't think I was. I think it was in oh. BC. Oh, that's so funny, dude. Like, whatever. End of the show. Show's over. I walk into the locker room and I see all the boys sitting on the bench staring. Up at Shane Douglas while he's telling stories. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, he does a lot. Learning lie. lessons, getting some some knowledge. Yeah, I walk in, I look up at Shane, I look and I see that he's shirt cocking it. He all he's wearing is a shirt and fucking meat just hanging just below. <laughs> so I go sit in the because it's like a hockey locker room. I sit with my back to Shane or Shane Douglas. I'm talking to Shane Saber and saying, hey. Is it big? Look at it. Does he shave it? Is it hairy like a gorilla? And he's like, shut up. 
Shut up. I'm trying to keep eye contact. Try not to break the stairs. Eye contact, baby. Yeah. All of them. All, everyone in the locker room was fucking keeping their eye contact with Douglas because, like... That's good stuff. Yeah. Man. And there's a third one. All right. I was going to end it right there. It was about to be. <laughs> no, Thank no, you for joining us. No, but... no. There's one more. All right. Who would that be? It was hardcore road trip in London, Ontario with all those old ECW guys. Yep. All the beauties. Yeah. Um, Two Cold Scorpio <laughs> was on the show. Was it? Was it? Was he cold? <laughs> it wasn't cold there. It wasn't cold in London that day. Uh, in the locker room, I was like on the complete opposite side of the stage of the locker room as him, probably thirty feet away. I'm getting my shit off. I look over. He's wearing a towel. I'm like, why has he got a beer bottle between his legs? Oh, God. And uh, then I, like, you know, I take off my knee pad, look back up. I'm like, oh, that's not a beer bottle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just, he doesn't care. He's like, I'm the biggest guy in the room. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's what you do, right? He yeah. probably does tricks. Fuck. <laughs> I would do that. I would walk around fucking butt naked if I was the biggest dude in the room. Like, yeah. Who's gonna call me out? <laughs> no one. No one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I asked him to help me out and give me a great episode, and we just had some magic here on the Three Six Five Nation podcast. Yep. Parents, uh, don't let your kids listen to this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good night. Join me tomorrow.